Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Autonauts. We are gonna try to progress some research today and then probably try to get our colonists up to level three if we can. We got one already producing 100 love, which is great. But before we can even do anything with this, let's try to get some research going. So that way we can clear out this love times 100. Although I guess love times this, uh, love times 10 actually is gonna keep on producing unless we start upgrading this so maybe we wait a second on that so if anything we need more of these what are these called log log cabins let's see where would they be at there they are log cabin six straw where do we get straw at oh we got straw here nice if i'm not mistaken this is a multi-part recipe so i do the straw first and then like wooden planks and things like that oh nice textiles complete beautiful good backpack upgrade Ooh, robe dress jumper farmer's hat chulo all right what other plans do i have Let's see, it looks like we're working on baking, and then... I thought we were working on colonization level 3? Wait, what's the other one working? Bacon, colonization level 3, yeah, where's that at? Baking. Oh, it's way down here. Okay. So we should probably do livestock next. Once we get everything situated and start getting wolf times 100 being made. So let's get all these cabins built. This is probably one of those times where I wish I didn't delete all this straw, but I feel like it comes back pretty easily and pretty quickly. All right, what's the next step to these cabins? Logs, ooh, that's a lot of logs. This might be something I want to automate. You know what, actually, the floor guy should be able to handle the log part, so let's do that. Because he's just looking for blueprints that require logs. So if we throw this up here, he should go perfect. Okay, this one's ready. So I'll start adding logs to these, which is great. And while he's working on that, we can finish making these ones. All right, how many do we're doing 10 at a time. I'm making one, two, three, four, five. We got six, so I'll need three more after this. All right, and then let's move these up. Play some Tetris with these. There we go, slowly building those. And let's make three more. One. Two, three. And then I guess for the other cabins, like these little huts, I guess we just delete them? I don't see a reason why we would need to keep those around at this point in time. Just because basically this one baby has produced 300 love, which is more than what's on the ground currently from these other nine. So I don't think there's a reason to keep the lower ones around. All right, that can go there. Oh my god. Oh, did this fit perfect? Oh, that's be beautiful. And then planks are next. Oh, we got the plank guy working too. Nice. That worked out beautifully. All right, so we can delete this hut. I don't think we need this. Just straight up delete it. All right, so now we need to work on food. We need to make sure we have plenty of food, which I don't think we're producing bread fast enough. So what's the holdup on bread? We're not making dough. We're not making dough because we don't have watery porridge. Oh, we were gonna do locomotion upgrade. I think that's what we we're gonna do to help that out. Four good gears and an axle? Yeah. 
because the guy that's doing the water runs for the watery porridge is just taking way too long to go back and forth. So locomotion upgrade should help with that. All right, one more gear and then we can take crude axle. And then this should really help speed that along a bit. If it still takes too long. Wait, why are all these blinking? Oh, new recipe, right? Let's click this to get rid of it. Cancel manufacture. What? Oh, there we go. Good backpack. There we go. And then let's switch that back. All right, where is this bot? There it is. No, you come here. Come here. Stop it. Okay, he's going to finish his his cycle pretty soon. Then we can give him this upgrade. All right, make the porridge. All right, come to me. No, I need these shoes. There we go. Now I'll go make stuff. Much better. You know, I spent all that time figuring out how to fix this issue where his bucket would break mid-cycle. It might be better off if we split this up between bots. Just because right now, like, if we had a bot providing two grain already and another bot providing clay, a porridge would already be done. And probably by the time he got the grain, another porridge would probably be done. So we might have to split this up. I don't think this is working fast enough. Or... You know what else? We use the disk drive and we get multiple... We get multiple bots making watery porridge. So instead of just one bot... Instead of three bots making watery porridge on one station, we're going to have three bots making watery porridge on three separate stations. That could be it. It could be a thing we do. Because everything's hard-coded straight to the different storages, so... It doesn't really matter where we put everything. Let's try that. Let's duplicate this structure. Let's duplicate it up here, because I'm sure we got to craft some stuff. Six planks in a pole. Cabins are coming along quite nicely. Alright, let's get these planks. Wow, our planks and poles really filled up from last time. Like, these were almost all empty. Really caught up. Alright, we got our mixing bowl. Let's put that there. And we need our disk drive. Where did I put that? I want to say it's like over here. Uh, why didn't I put it somewhere I would know where it was? Oh, there it is. Okay, we have to remember how we do this. Because if I click the wrong left click or right click, I may delete his programming. So how do I... I thought there was a way if I hovered. Okay, it's called stone collect. Oh, do I need another disc? Can can I not like erase this? All right, let's get this bot to come to me. Watery porridge maker make. Okay, I think I spelled porridge right. Por Port ported? That's definitely not right. Why did I think there's a T in there? What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Por porridge. I'll just say that was a, a mis misclick. Alright, so I can... Alright, control left click. I think is copy. So let's see if this deletes the disk. It didn't, didn't do anything. Oh, here we go. So what'd that do? All right, so control left click is to take. 
the program, control right click would be to like sync it in. All right. So we need this bot to come to us once this is done. We do have to fix this little move section though. All right, come to me, bot. Okay, we need to copy your programming. Please tell me I did that right. All right, we did that right. So this bot has nothing. So now if we control right click, it's downloading. Beautiful. All right, let's put this down. So now we need to fix this a little. So if we get rid of this move to, move to clay pot storage, take, add to mixing pot. So we need a move to mixing pot. All right. So let's see if we can record that. We only have, we have no kilobytes free, what? Oh, he needs a brain upgrade. Wait. Did we glitch it out? And uh, I think we did. Because this one has a bot brain upgrade and locomotion. But I'm pretty sure this took the whole whole programming even without the memory. Ooh, that's a little cheaty. I don't like that. All right, let's get him a brain and locomotion upgrade just so that way everyone's on the same ground. Good bot workbench. We only have one. All right, more gears. And then why are these not being built? Oh, they're too far down? Okay, we'll have to move these. Let's go make this locomotion upgrade. And then let's make a bot brain upgrade, which is really easy, just poles and tree seeds. But before we do that, let's move these cabins all the way. That way we can get these in here. All right, so what was it? Eight poles and four tree seeds? Tree seeds should be right over here. And eight poles. Ugh. That's a lot of poles. It's two trips. Probably should get more backpack upgrades. Because we just have empty slots doing nothing for us right now. Alright, two more. Then we can fully upgrade this bot. I wonder if the developer knows about that. Because I'm pretty sure I copied its entire programming even if, without the bot brain. Although, maybe if I hit run, maybe it won't work. Maybe it does like a check first to make sure it has enough memory to even run that program. Alright, apply these upgrades. So now it should have one kilobyte free. It does, sweet. Alright, let's go get a clay pot. Oh, come on, you're gonna really run through the bushes. All right, now we can record and go to this. Move to crude mixing pot, cool. Now why is it not numbered? I need it to be numbered. Oh boy. Okay, let me get... Dang it. I messed this up too. Now I have to make this porridge, otherwise they're gonna get stuck in their cycles. Ugh, I hate it. All right, this is recording me, but it doesn't really matter because it's got no memory to learn anything new. All right, I need a bucket, which is fine because then I can give the bucket to the new guy. All right, let's take this broken bucket. Looks like our farms are still going nicely. Oh, that bot's dead. Plenty of tunics, so we're good with that. All right. 
Let's add water. Oh, did our water guy die? Oh, he didn't. Still going. He's still going. All right, so this will make this, and then we can clear out a little bit more memory to try and properly code that. There you go. And we need, what bot is it? Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh no. Watery porridge maker. There's the original, Where, where's your brother? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we lost him. Oh, is he over here? Yeah. All right, let's delete this. We can delete a retrieve or a still held item because that's easy enough just to reprogram. So let's go get a clay pot. Hopefully this targets correctly now that we have two kilobytes free. Once we get to it, it should change the mood to clay pot three. There you go, five. Perfect. Wait, no, we wanted to add to mixing pot five. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Move right there. Beautiful. So now what we do, we stop this. Actually, we give you the bucket. There you go. And we need this disc. We need to reprogram this. This will just fix his programming. All right. And then let's get this guy needs to come over here. All right, let's copy his programming. And then let's get this bot over here. And then we go override it. So this move to 247 comma 181 should switch over to move to crude mixing pot five. All right, let's reopen it. Beautiful, That's exactly what we wanted. So now, oh, we gotta finish this recipe now. So we need two grain, two water. I'm gonna need that bucket back, sir. So this should hopefully produce us more and more bread. Cause right now we're just waiting on the watery porridge to be made. Let's see, let's see. Watery porridge, I need your bucket. That's what I'm doing. Give me that bucket. I could theoretically also do a thing with double buckets, but I don't know if we even have the memory for that. Instead of doing two trips back and forth for water. All right, take your bucket back. So now, if we activate number one, should just go on and make a new one. And then this one, we have to retarget everything. So bucket's fine, fresh water is fine. So now we need to move to this mixing pot instead, number six. Grain storage is fine. Add it to mixing pot six. Get the clay, that's fine. Add to mixing pot six. And that should be good. Oh, this area we need to move over. Wait, how do I move this? Edit area. There we go. And go. So now we should have two bots making two sets of watery porridge and adding that right there. Let's see, so this one is going to get grain? Wait, where is he? Why is he not getting grain? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And why are you stuck? Add to crude mixing pot six. Did you not do that? Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Crap, 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 crap. We messed it up again. I forgot to reprogram the stow item. So if I just hit Q. Oh, no, that won't work. We need to do... I need to grab something. Give me this bucket. Can't believe I forgot that. So now if we record, there we go, retrieve. Oh no, we need 
So, there we go. Now we drag this up. And it's right here? No, it was down here. Yeah, that's where it was. All right, we need to reprogram these again. Okay, copy your data. Copy your floppy. Now where is... This guy. All right, come to me. Now I need to reprogram you. So unfortunately now, because I reprogrammed them, I have to retarget these to Mixing Pot 5 instead. Mixing Pot 5. Mixing Pot 5. I think it was in three spots and that was it. And then make sure we reprogram the area. There we go. And not gonna hit play just yet because now we need to fix both of these. Wait. Oh, I didn't have a recipe. Okay, so this bot can go. This bot can just go. Cool. Here, take the bucket. You should be good to go. This bot, though, I need to remake the porridge myself again. I swear, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm slowly, slowly getting the hang of it. It's just like stupid little mistakes like that always tend to mess things up and make things take way longer than they should. All right, let's just take this clay pot. Okay, so now that this is complete, I should be able to just hit play on you. There we go. Oh, you died. I got a bot, don't worry about it. All right, I guess we'll make sure this cloth maker is still going. And then we can work on these huts. Charge remote. And what else did we learn? I guess we learned more recipes. Okay, as long as it cleared it all, that's all we want it. Make a toga there. So let's take these babies out. Can I just straight up delete these? I can't, I gotta move the babies. Move the babies! Just put them on the ground. It's okay, they'll do handstands, they're fine. Oh dang, they're gonna produce love one though. Can I just delete that? I don't want that love one. All right, and why is that bot standing there? You, Mr. Bot. Oh, that worked. We got the baby, cool. All right, let's delete all these. And, do I set up a different place for love? Cause it's pretty compact right here. Although it is close to food, maybe we move it here. So that way it's closer towards food and towards the clothes. It's still far from the log logs for repairs, but that probably isn't too much of an issue, I would think. All right, let's just do it here for now. Pretty sure we could just side all these up right next to each other. Four, five, and let's do five on the bottom. Let's do a little bit of a gap just so we can see what's happening in between. Am I missing one? No way. Ah, I was one short. Right, I didn't leave one by straw, did I? I did not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dang it. All right, let's make one more. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, we're finally cranking out some bread. Seems to be working a lot better. I mean, this should technically be double production for watery porridge. All right, let's move this up here so that way they start building the cabin. I'm wondering if I should start 
putting flooring because I'm guessing that's going to be level four is to get them like in walls. I don't know. I honestly don't know what five more steps are. What could that honestly be? All right, let's get all these babies. Let's put them in their cabins. And then we will program a bot to handle putting tunics on them. I like how they grow. But then if you take them out, they shrink. That doesn't seem right. All right, how's this cabin coming? Nice. Now we just need the planks. All right, one, two, three, four, five babies left. All right, perfect. Perfect. And then we can repurpose these feeder bots to then just go get bread, I guess? I'm curious how long the bread lasts on the little bar as well. If it depletes really fast, like, am I gonna burn through this 13 bread in like half a second? And then they're all gonna be starving? Or does that bread last long enough that it can keep on filling up in between cycles of feeding them? I hope it's enough. I have a feeling it's not though. Let's move this cabin. All right, one more. All right, and then let's program a bot to be the Colonist Clother? Alright, and all you're gonna do is take a tunic out of storage. And then hopefully we can just program you to find a colonist and be good to go. Oh, it wasn't right click. I think it's control right click to put him on? I don't think this will actually do anything. I think we'll just go here and stop. Yep. All right. There we go. Find naked colonists. Perfect. Set the area. That's fine. We'll just set the big area. And do it forever. And go. Auto body. Bots made 200. Wow. We have 200 bots. Are you kidding me? That does not seem like 200 bots. That is amazing. Look at them go, all my workers. All right, we're slowly clothing everything. All right, and then I guess we need feeders. So I guess these chefs are doing nothing. I don't wanna, I can't repurpose these to be chefs because we need the memory of these better bots. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with these bots. I guess they could be feeders of some sort. You know what? I guess we should stop the chefs then, right? Because there's no reason they should be making spice berries and things like that. All right, chefs, chefs, chefs. All you, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Stop making stuff. All right, so now they need food. And I guess we program... What is that, love makers? Yeah, baby feeder one. All right, find nearest crew. So we got to reprogram all this. Okay. So I need you to take. Give me these. You don't need those. All right, take bread. I oh, got dang it. Here, take bread. Add it to a colonist. Oh my god, this is so slow. This is the most giant ass bread I've ever seen. It's like a six foot bread. There we go. I should just be able to do that. And then if we, I believe we were shrinking it so that each bot basically took care of one colonist. Right, is that how many I had? Yeah, I had 10, all right. All right. Oh, we're gonna need a 
clay pot collector. Ooh, which actually works out because then they can just replenish. Cool. So, clay pot collector. You just need to find clay pots in this area and go put them away. That's simple enough. Which is fine because then he won't ever make more if this storage ever gets full. Let's make sure we edit the area. Beautiful. And go. There we go. So we got 13 bread there. He's waiting. Boom, the typical waiting game. All right, so we need to program all these little bots, these baby feeders, to now, instead of have their either spice berries or spiced apples, they all need to go get bread for the time being to feed their babies. And I think I'll take care of that offline. It's a lot of just redundant actions over and over. So I will take care of that offline in between episodes. And then next time, I think we can probably begin doing the next research upgrade finally. And then we can take it from there. So until then, take it easy, everyone. <laughs>